Hey. <laughs> so, I've been gone. What's new at this point? I have been losing motivation. I think that lately I've been letting negativity get to me, which has a lot to do with me filming this video. I haven't had the motivation to film, not even work out. Still losing weight. I am at 195 pounds. So I'm still making progress, but your girl been eating. I told y'all I was gonna eat during Thanksgiving and I did. I did, that was pretty nice. I had a good little Friendsgiving situation so that was really cute this was part of the first year i didn't do any kind of like leftovers i didn't do any like zero well let me not lie i made some banana pudding i did eat that a couple days after and i made some uh potato salad it turned out good and my best friend cooked a lot of the other stuff she did a very good job so good job to you friend but i don't know what it is i have been lacking motivation my mood has been down your girl haven't even been walking her steps been eating i did do a couple of things though let me show you i'm gonna put you on i did get this from uh five below apparently the girls been gatekeeping no they haven't really i just didn't know myself but they have this at five below it's 42 pound dumbbell slash barbell situation i only have it like this because um let me put that down Whew, shit. I only have it like that because it's easy to just take off the middle bar and turn it into like a barbell situation. No, dumbbell situation. <laughs> then to put them together and then have to, to take them off all kind of things. So yeah, that was cute. A cute little $25. So if you can find one in your area, what I did was basically look online at five below. Look at the one that was in my area online and seen it paid for it online and went to go pick it up like an hour away. It was worth it to me because it seems like apparently since the pandemic, gym equipment is expensive and it really is. So $25 for that is really, really good actually. So I also did my cat's automatic feeder. That didn't work. Oh well, I thought I ate. <laughs> Bitch, put that back. I also did attempt to get tread walking pad situation because you know the girl's been talking about the walking pad for a little minute now. So I actually did purchase a walking pad. My plan was to make a little semi gym space in my garage since that is semi cleaned out. Your girl still haven't really cleaned it out and I apologize. <laughs> Clearly, I cleaned it and then I didn't clean it. No, I cleaned it somewhat. I didn't complete the job. Don't get on me. So I'm trying to get myself to get some motivation. So I did purchase a walking pad. It was like a week and a half went by and it still ain't here. It didn't show up. I feel like every time I do a Black Friday sale purchase, it don't show up and I'm about tired of it. So today I actually had to request a replacement and it's supposed to be here saturday fingers crossed because i'm upset i have not been having motivation to go to the gym your girl was going like four times a week ask me how how many times i've been i'll wait i don't think none mm -mm. nope like i was saying earlier i have been allowing the negative energies of what's going on in the world, just social media, this person breaking up, Cassie and Diddy, um, this one fighting, and just the comment sections of people's videos and posts be stressing me out. People aren't human at this point. It's just ridiculous. So what I have decided to do in this video is one, I am creating my 2024 vision board. I like the way that sounds. This is actually gonna be the first time ever in my life I created a vision board. And I wanted to do that because I want some direction. I wanna manifest them and I wanna speak life into myself because one thing I kinda wanna tap into, and I hate that, I absolutely hate trends by the way. If you don't know, now you know. I don't like trends but I am uh, trying so hard to get into the soft girl era. Mm. I am such a tomboy. 
I haven't got to the point like the other girls who be like, boss babe, baddie, go get the bag. I, duh, duh, duh. Like, I'm not one of them. And that's not cute. It's not like, yeah, get your money. Like, <laughs> go get your money. But, uh, calm down. The way I approach things in conversation is in a very tomboyish kind of way. And I want to tap into that femininity. Femininity. I can't even take myself serious. I haven't even been taking my medicine. I've been skipping days. And I will remember that I need to take it and not take it. I actually just uh, had an appointment and she upped my dose. I didn't even pick it up. Anyway, I'm dragging. Like I said, I am in the process of making a 2024 vision board and attempting to tap into my feminine era revives and at the same time i thought while i'm doing this would be a good time to purge my social medias now excuse me <laughs> how would they do what's <laughs> bitch i can't even imagine listen you know how the girls be like <laughs> Bitch, I ain't even got no nails on. I'm gonna tap into my soft girl era and then don't got no nails on. This already is giving like, what a basketball at. <laughs> Y'all ever seen the girls do that? They be eating something. Let me try to do an example. They'll be eating something and then as they're eating, they'll literally do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah, totally fine. Yeah. Oh. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Bitch, I probably need to do that because the way I be, you know, I be looking like a giraffe. Y'all ever seen giraffes? And... Anyway, let's get to it. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the purging on my phone because I think that's the easiest part. I'm debating if I wanna do my TikTok. Sometimes TikTok be triggering me too. I'm sensitive and I'm okay with that. Nothing I can do about that. So yeah, let's do TikTok. Well, it's gonna hurt. Bro, why I go to TikTok, the first thing I see is this. I ain't gonna lie. This person or thing is kinda cool, but let's go ahead and do some screen recording. This is how we're gonna do this. We are gonna unfollow people and look at their pages and see if it's on brand with the soft girl era. Would they post anything that triggers me? Or are they posting anything that I just don't really care about? No shade, no tea. TikTok mama, we love her, don't we? I do absolutely love this lady, for sure. <laughs> I love this lady, I absolutely do. See, it knows that I bought the walking thing. I wish mine had that on there. It doesn't. Okay, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. I'm gonna unfollow her because I absolutely don't look at really anything. This person, she kind of triggers me. And, I'm, and she triggers me only because she makes stuff for like dead people unalive people and put pieces of some something in the crystals and sells it i followed her because it's, i thought it was a beautiful thing but no obviously but she has amazing work let me look at this i'm gonna come back so i don't know if you guys noticed but your girl's a mom i'm a mom Okay, I don't know if y'all could tell, but I'm a mom and I just want you to know that life be life and, and I had to take care of them kids. So it's clearly a long time later, but we gotta get this video filmed. So let's get back to the thing. If you hear my kids in the background, you know I got two of them. So who is this? Oh, I know who this is. I know who this is. Hold on, I gotta take a look. Kill me? Is this like, is this her way of like telling me that she like, 
It's gonna dispose of me? I ain't gonna hold you. This is a cute little white boy. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna even hold you. I think he is just so cute. Should I be following him though? Uh clearly clearly we gonna <laughs> We gonna keep following him for no reason at all. I barely look at his content, but we're gonna follow him for now. Uh clearly we have somebody on here DP. His name, not mine. And I just seen him today on Instagram and I decided to follow him because look at look at the content. Look at the content. And one thing I have come to realize, I like when the man, oh, this is gonna sound so bad. The trainers, it's like I need my trainer to yell at me for real. And he be doing that look. Wait, you still doing this Grow your clothes? This don't even get me started with this. Guys, for one more purposes of beginners. Fans are great, but if you really, really want to grow your boots, try doing them. Hip thrust, Bulgarian split squats, step up. I need to learn. One thing I'm learning is like the form is everything. The form is really everything. But that's the first video I actually seen of him on Instagram, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, I need you to tell me that the ish I'm doing is stupid and to correct it. I need you to do that. Yeah, because otherwise I'm probably not gonna press myself hard enough. So, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, she has the booty workout stuff. Yep, we love that. Darius, we love Darius. Keith Lee, we gotta follow Keith Lee. <laughs> Why did I just act celebrity over Keith Lee? We love Keith Lee. Who's this with the tongue? Why do I follow this person? Oh, this is another dude. He's another one be yelling at me. And I love it. I ain't here for him. Yell at me in a good way. With good personality. Like, look, look. Ladies, when you doing your fucking squats, please stop doing this shit. I done said it before and it's gonna be controversial. But watch, watch me. Just watch. You come your ass here. And then you come up and then you... <laughs> and then you go back. What the fuck is... The, why are we doing this? Listen, y'all, and I know some of y'all don't know this shit. Some people gonna say I'm lying. They full of shit. There is no glute activation at the top of the damn squat. There's no glute activation up here. So why are you? Yo, I that was the first video I actually seen of his and thought, I have to follow him. Because every time, especially coming back into the whole working out stuff and seeing people do that, I thought I had to do that, but that was just actually hilarious. But his content- If you want to build you some motherfucking ass with a little bit of legs on the top, I suggest you follow this here quick ass routine that you can do See, at the gym. See, I love Got the way he talks. I just love it. Like, he's like probably my new favorite, like, chain person. And I actually learn stuff. It's not just because he's funny. I should be learning stuff. So yeah, we definitely following him. Okay, listen. This girl is my white Haitian queen. What they say? Safa say na boule. Okay, listen. Uh, she be cooking the Haitian food, and I'm here for it. And I tell myself I'm gonna teach myself, and never do. But one day I will. So I will be following her. Who this? With the little booty? Who I when I, when I followed her? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Is she? I ain't gonna say it. Just curious. She bad, but just scared. Is she? Still gonna follow her. Dope. 208 people, so I'm gonna come back once I fully purge. All right, so clearly it's a new day because I was taking a lot of time to purging my account and actually I'm still not finished but I have decided that I can complete that on my own time. They don't make it easy to like unfollow a bunch of people at one time so it's going to be a process but I want to talk about my 2024 vision board. How I think I want to do this is I already kind of compiled a bunch of stuff. I'm going to be using Canva today and I'm going to be doing a digital version of a vision board. I have never done a vision board and I honestly believe because I didn't want the risk of letting myself down. I think it's the same reason why I don't do uh, New Year's resolutions because I almost have this self-doubt in the back of my head so I don't 
don't want to put myself on a pedestal and then knock myself off of it but this year moving forward i want to hold myself accountable in a way that keeps me focused and also for me to just be able to recognize my own blessings when they do happen so I think what I want to do is go ahead and screen record. So what I have decided here is to start with the colored background. I did kind of, as you can kind of see right here, start and like scattered page, but I want to walk through it with you and actually formulate it. So in no specific order, but going off the top of this. I'm going to start with this gym garage gym photo and this is just simply because right now I am on my health journey. I think I am starting to slowly get tired of the gym so I think I want to make a mini garage gym. As you guys know I had just purchased the walking pad so I kind of want to create a little corner in my garage for that. I'm going to just stick that there for now. I have this quote it says patience is not simply the ability to wait but it's how we behave while we're waiting now I wanted to put this on here because I have became very impatient my reactions to things that I may not want to hear it could be rude at times and I want to work on that this one I have this is on my board because I want to make sure at least once every three two or three months I am doing a solo date with myself this picture is on here is because I do a lot of DIY projects that I don't complete and this has been one that has been on my radar for at least probably two years now constant reminders to finish what I started these shoes are more for energies this is another energy situation this is kind of more the vibe that I want to go with. Even this blue wall, I don't think is even working for me as much, but until I can get this type of energy, it's probably gonna be like that. I have this because I want to make a point to start reading. I love my Audible, but it's something about a good book. When you read it, it gets to the juiciness. This is the sleep mocktail. I think it would be dope to have a routine to have this specific drink to help encourage good sleep. This is gonna be me at the gym. Like this is this is the gym wear I would wear. Oh, speaking of gym girls, since we're talking about this, so mind you, this one is more representation of me wearing a crop top. This is like my everyday wear that I aspire to wanna wear. Mama, <laughs> mama. Okay, so this is my inspiration body. Legs, I need it body cut here very toned very muscular very athletic because i had a very athletic body and my dream is to get my body back i don't think i'll ever feel as comfortable as her to do this girl you got it this my goal i definitely want to get the pocket three for sure this is my next dream camera it's a little bit more expensive than i thought it would be it's like six hundred dollars Plus, my goal is to get that. We're gonna manifest. Is manifesting a weird way to say like praying for without the spirituality of it? Like, is that a thing? Speaking to this, because I feel like that's what you do when you pray to God. Let me not, because y'all know how y'all be in y'all feelings about the Lord, but I'm a believer over here. This one is happening. Okay, when you see these two ladies here, I want you to think of Savage Race. Your girl wanted to do something challenging. Essentially, they're like 5K, 7K, 10K runs with obstacle courses. As you can see, these people are climbing walls, that type of thing. I don't know if they're specifically at Spartan Race, but it's the same type of energy. So I actually did sign up for the Spartan Race for next year, and I believe it's in May. Guess what? David's gonna be in it too. We paid our money, so we're definitely in it. I already managed manifested it because I put this on the board not knowing that it was going to happen and next thing you know this is a representation of this lovely lady on a morning walk because my 
goal is to start to get up around three, four o'clock in the morning, do a morning walk, run, whatever, get my body going. So as you can see, that lovely man is Chris Breezy. He has a concert coming up and I wanna go out. Never been to any of his concerts, so I definitely wanna go. Presentation of me wanting to start taking photos with my friends. Okay, so this one here is Virgin Voyage Cruise. I guess I could put this along with the ticket idea. I want to do, my goal is to do a version cru voyage cruise at some point. I don't know if it's next year, but my goal is to speak in existence. That's the one cruise I do want to go on. So this goes along with the whole book idea. I want to read at least five books. And this is one of the books that I started reading, The Set of Art of Not Giving an F, to work on me caring a little bit too much. So we got Soft Girl Season. I already explained that. This is another book here, but I like the title. So, and it's about uh, healthy boundaries without compromising yourself. I seen that and was like, yes ma'am. I need that because I would be the one who willing to compromise myself just to make other people happy. The girls keep talking about the Russian manicure and even though I don't like pay, to pay people to do stuff, I definitely want to try this out. This is, this is, this is goals right here. So yeah. So I'm just gonna try to organize this and play with it and put it in places to make it look good and fill in the gap. So I think I'm officially done with everything. I personally like it. I think it's very re realistic. And I'll go ahead and save this and put it as my background. Constant reminders that I have goals, okay? And we have work to do and we gotta do it. So I just wanted to kind of update you guys and talk to you guys and kind of let you guys know where my head is because your girl hasn't been doing everything that I feel like I need to be doing to work towards my goal. I feel like 2024, I'm claiming it. It is my year and we're going to do this thing. Comment down below. What is the biggest thing that you're hoping to accomplish in 2024 and how you're going to do it? Outside of that, this is going to be it for this video. I definitely love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.